Viktor Ivanovich Belenko, born February 15, 1947, is an American aerospace engineer and defector of Soviet origin. Early life and defection, Belenko was born in Nalkik, Russian SFSR in a Ukrainian family. Lieutenant Belenko was a pilot with the 513th Fighter Regiment, 11th Air Army, Soviet Air Defense Forces based in Shugrieva, Primorsky Krai. His name became known worldwide on September 6, 1976, when he successfully defected to the West, flying his MiG-25 Foxbat jet fighter to Hakodate, Japan. This was the first time that Western experts were able to get a close look at the aircraft, and it revealed many secrets and surprises. His defection caused significant damage to the Soviet Union Air Force. Belenko was granted asylum by U.S. President Gerald Ford, and a trust fund was set up for him, granting him a very comfortable living in later years. The U.S. government interrogated and debriefed him for five months after his defection, and employed him as a consultant for several years thereafter. Belenko had brought with him the pilot's manual for the MiG-25 Foxbat, expecting to assist American pilots in evaluating and testing the aircraft. Belenko was not the only pilot to have defected from the USSR in this way, nor was he the first such to defect from a Soviet bloc country. In March and May 1953, two Polish Air Force pilots flew MiG-15s to Denmark. Later in 1953, North Korean pilot No Kum Sok flew his MiG-15 to an American air base in South Korea. This MiG is on permanent display at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force near Dayton, Ohio. Captain Alexander Tsalev flew his MiG-29 to Trabzon, Turkey on May 20, 1989. Post-defection life in the United States, in 1980, the U.S. Congress enacted S-2961, authorizing citizenship for Belenko. It was signed into law by President Jimmy Carter on October 14, 1980, as Private Law 96-62. While residing in the United States, Belenko married a music teacher from North Dakota, Coral, and fathered two sons, Tom and Paul. He later divorced. He also has a son from his first marriage. Belenko has never divorced his Russian wife. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, he visited Moscow in 1995 by way of business. Aftermath, the MiG-25's arrival in Japan was a windfall for Western military planners. The Japanese government originally only allowed the U.S. to examine the plane and do ground tests of the radar and engines. Later the Japanese invited the Americans to examine the plane extensively, and it was dismantled for this purpose in Japan. The plane was moved by U.S. transport aircraft from Hakodat to Yakurai Air Base on September 25, and by this time experts had determined that the plane was an interceptor, not a fighter bomber, which was a welcome reassurance for Japanese defense. The Japanese government laid out a plan on October 2 to return the aircraft in crates from the port of Hitachi and bill the Soviets $40,000 for crating services and airfield damage at Hakodat. The Soviets unsuccessfully tried to negotiate a return via Antonov and 22 aircraft and attempted to organize a rigorous inspection of the crates, but Japan refused both demands and the Soviets finally submitted to the Japanese terms on October 22. The aircraft was moved from Yakurai to the port of Hitachi on November 11 on a convoy of trailers. It left in 30 crates aboard the Soviet cargo ship Tigonos on November 15, 1976 and arrived about three days later in Vladivostok. A team of Soviet technicians had been allowed to view sub-assemblies at Hitachi, Japan, and upon finding 20 missing parts, with one of the missing items being film of the flight to Hakodate the Soviets attempted to bill Japan for $10 million. Neither the Japanese or Soviet bill is thought to have ever been paid. A senior diplomat described the Soviet position as sulky about the whole affair CIA analysis said, both countries seem anxious to put the problem behind them, and speculated that the Soviets were reluctant to cancel a series of upcoming diplomatic visits because some useful business is likely to be transacted, and because the USSR, with its political standing in Tokyo so low, can ill afford setbacks in Soviet-R Euro-Japanese economic cooperation. See also Munir Rafa, List of Cold War Pilot Defections, List of Eastern Bloc Defectors, References. Further reading, 
Meg Pilot, The Final Escape of Lieutenant Belenko, by John Barron, 1980, ISBN 0-380-53868-7, External Links, 1996 Interview with Belenko at the Wayback Machine, Russian, Article Mission Fox Bad Almost 30 Years Ago Senior Lieutenant Belenko Hijacked the MiG-25 Fighter from the Sokolov Air Base to Japan. Article on Belenko at Everything 2, Chris Dixon. A Reporter's Online Notebook, Victor Belenko.